Okay, we have to solve this equation for x. Solution. So in a problem like this, the first thing you want to do is solve for one of the square roots. So we'll solve for this one. So we'll add the square root of x minus 4 to both sides. So plus square root x minus 4 plus square root x minus 4. So we're left with the square root of x plus 7 equals 1 plus the square root of x minus 4. Okay, now we have to get rid of the square roots. So we'll square both sides. So we'll square this side and square this side. When you square this side, the square root goes away. So you just get x plus 7. And when you square this one, you can just write it twice. So 1 plus square root x minus 4, and then 1 plus square root x minus 4. So there's 2 here. That's what that means, right? It basically means you write it twice. In this case, we didn't do that because the square root's on the whole thing. So the 2 gets rid of the square root. But here is a plus sign between these terms. So one way to do it is to write this twice. So we have x plus 7. And then now we'll FOIL. So 1 times 1 is 1. And then 1 times this is the square root of x minus 4. And the inside pieces give us the square root of x minus 4. And then this times this, well, the square roots will cancel. So we'll just get x minus 4. All right, let's keep going. So here we have x plus 7 equals, let's see, so 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. Then we have the x, so plus x. Then we have 1 square root x minus 4, 1 square root x minus 4. That gives us 2 square root x minus 4. Almost there. We have to solve for this. So maybe we can add the 3 and subtract the x. So when we do that, these cancel. 7 plus 3 is 10. These cancel, these cancel, and we get 2 square root x minus 4. Almost there. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. So we get 5 equals square root x minus 4. And again, to eliminate the square root, we will square both sides. So square this and square this. So you get 25 equals x minus 4. And finally, we add 4. And we are in good shape because we get x equals 29. And you're supposed to check your answers on these. Sometimes you'll get answers that don't work. Um, I'll check it really, really quickly. So check 29. So when you check, you're supposed to go back into the original function. So you got to plug it in here. So you get, um, let's see, 29 plus 7, that's 36, minus, and then 29 minus 4, that's uh, 25. And that should be equal to 1. So the square root of 36 is 6. The square root of 25 is 5. Yep, 6 minus 5 is 1, so that indeed does check. Hope that hope that made sense.